first time I surfed, my dad took me out in the water, and uh, he grew up in San Diego, surfing his whole life, so that was just naturally something he was gonna try to get me into. So at a pretty young age, I was probably only two or three, I think he uh, took me out on a flat day, out on his board, and pushed me into a couple waves, and then just, I always would beg to go with them ever since. I was born in Cape Canaveral and I lived there for about seven years. So we'd surf like second light in our seas a lot. My dad is definitely the person that got me into it. For a while it was like our thing, we'd both just go surf together. And then as I got older, I wanted to drive around to places that were a little bit better. I started off shortboarding um, and then just living on the East Coast, the waves were so small, there'd be a lot of days where it was really clean and small and had good form, but just wasn't that fun on a shortboard. I begged my dad to give me a longboard and then I just started longboarding when it was flat and had a lot of fun with it. Once I started longboarding, um, Joel Tudor, of course, was a huge influence. Oh, Alex Noss, I probably watch the, his section in Sprout every time before I'd go surf for like three years straight. For longboarding, there's not really a contest scene or anything, which is almost kind of cool because it takes the really competitive aspect out of it and uh, you can really focus on free surfing and just actually surfing as opposed to trying to beat someone. Surfing's transcending what it means to be a shortboarder or a longboarder. You know a lot of people you don't see them just go into their standard shortboard now where it's like shortboarding's the only cool thing. It's like any kind of board you want to ride. That's like what's cool. People are getting really psyched on different designs and different boards. Pretty nice to see shortboarders uh, appreciating style, which is bringing a whole new aesthetic to surfing, which I like to see. I don't know, I probably have 30 some odd boards or something. They're not all exactly brand new though. There's a lot of them that are old retro boards that we just picked up along the way. Twin fin to a bonzer, a single fin, egg or like single fin shortboard or a log, uh, an ally, pretty much, pretty much anything you can think of. There's something to be said about riding retro boards where there's that extra weight and you can really feel the trim and the glide and uh, you don't feel like you're hopping the whole time or trying to really work for speed. It's just a whole nother feeling. Mainly trim is the difference between the two. You can set a line, almost like a higher line, in a more critical spot and just take off and it's, it's really cool. Anytime I see a new design, I try to snatch it up pretty quick. If I see it, I'm like, all right, I gotta have that. <laughs> 